world on the neck and four-wheel drive factor. Um, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be pumping up our tyre pressures after getting off the dirt track. Uh, we're going back on the bitumen, so tyre pressures are essential when you're four-wheel driving. We lowered them at Savage's Crossing down to 30. I find that works best, in, uh, especially with my vehicle, uh, for off-road use, uh, mainly in bush and a bit of rocky area. It gives you that slightly bigger footprint and still gives you that nice firmness that you need. Also, that goes over the rocks and helps mould around the rocks rather than uh, it minimises punctures, basically. Um, so, I'd like to bring Anthony back in and we're going to discuss this uh, certain type of air compressor. So basically this is uh, one we got from uh, Four Drive Super Centre, my our candy store. Um, but it, um, I've, been, I've never had any issues with it every time I've gone out with it. Um, okay. um, so what this is is the, uh, the Thumper Max. Um, I think it's fantastic. It blows the tyres up very, very easy. I have no issues with it, as you're probably going to about to see anyway. Um, the only thing I don't like is the gauge on them. Um, you know, I, I, if I were you, I'd go out, out of my way and probably get a better, uh, better gauge for it. But otherwise, uh, the actual system itself is pretty good. Um, when it comes to tyre pressures, each car's different, um, and each person's different, and each car performs differently on, on whatever pressures that, that you feel comfortable driving in. So, uh, albeit that the 30 is good for us, it may not be for you. Um, so, this is just advice only. Um, it's, it's not dead set straight. The rules, if you understand what I mean. So I'll pass it back to the young man here, he's pretty good at this stuff. He will talk to you about pressures, um, and being the mechanic that he is, he's all over it. So. Alright, first thing we do, we need to have the engine running and the pump connected to the battery. The reason why we have the engine running is to simply keep the voltage supply up. You don't want one of these draining your battery and leaving you in the middle of nowhere. Uh, alternatively, some uh, four drives have dual battery setup, so you can use the backup battery as an emergency crank. Uh, however, you want to try and avoid flattening your battery full stop. So, we've got it connected to the battery now, positive on positive, negative on negative. Um, we're going to... We're going to connect it up to the first tyre here. And I'm going to check what the pressure reads. Righto, we're sitting down just uh, shy of 25 psi at the moment. So we're going to get that up to 40. Yep, we're going up to 40. So I've just identified on the gauge where 40 is. It should be after the 25, you've got 30, 35, and then 40. So the second line from the 50 is where we're going to be going. You want to switch her on for us, bud? See the footprint starting to change as we get more air in it. Well, you want to shut it off and we'll check. This, as uh, Ant said, we're just going to turn it off and check. 25, 30, 35, we've got about another 5 psi to go. We go, we're sitting on 40. There you have it, folks. That's basically uh, looking after your tyre pressures on and off the road. Stay tuned for more.